Sharing your designs and getting feedback from anyone just got easier with SolidWorks and cloud services. So let's see how to do it. With any file open, go to the Lifecycle and Collaboration tab. Now under Share a File, first click on the arrow to verify which file format you'd like to share. 3DXML is the lightweight format for short load times while maintaining exact 3D geometry. Once you click the Share button, the file is generated and uploaded to your 3D drive in a folder named Share with External. Now we can copy the link to that document if we want to grant wide open access. Most of the time though, I want to make use of the two options below that. Slide the first toggle to let anyone add their comments and see anyone else's comments. Use the next option if you want to restrict access to specific people. Just add the emails and a custom message and click share. The great part here is you can share this file with anyone. They don't have to have SOLIDWORKS or licenses to 3D Experience. Now, if they're not familiar with the process, you may want to tell them what to expect. They'll get an email like this one with the link. And if needed, they can create the free 3D Experience account to log in. The file will then open in their browser for viewing and comment. The view mode tool lets them change the look of the model, including the toggle for perspective. Since this is an assembly model, the Explode tool is available to automatically separate the parts and visualize how they come together. They can use the Measure tool and even mark the dimensions with special flags for instantly visible comments. With a combination of annotations and text, they can mark up the design the rest of the way. The markups are viewable in the view orientation where they're created. So as you move around the model, it keeps it clear of clutter. When they're done, they need to click on share as comment and that captures all of their markups and makes them visible for you and others with access. That's all they need to do. There's no emails or zip files required. Now back in SOLIDWORKS, you'll get a notification in the My Session pane. Clicking on that will take you to the shared file in 3D Drive, and then click on the Information button to get to the comments. When you click on the thumbnail, the 3D Play app opens right in the task pane for you. The best way to look at all the comments is to use the annotation tour, since that lets you cycle through all the views where the markups were created. Going back to comments lets you reply or add comments of your own and everyone with access to the link will get the updates. Now you can interact with the shared file in all the same ways with measurements and annotations and text. Just share your own markup as a comment for everyone to see. If the file you have open is a part file, notice you have the option to use the SLD PRT format. Now, this is important because whatever file you share can be downloaded. So if you want them to have access to your SOLIDWORKS files, great, that's an easy way to send it. If you need to protect your design details, consider 3D XML. And if you're sharing a SOLIDWORKS drawing file, format options include DXF and DWG.